Here's a really nice method of how to simplify square root radicals using a ladder method. I like this because it's very predictable. First of all, we're going to factor a radicand, the number under a square root symbol, into a product of prime numbers. The way we'll do that is um, we will uh, start out, let's do the square root of 12 to begin. Uh, well, we're going to pair, uh, always use the smallest prime number. I'll write the number 12 over here, and then I'm going to draw a little box like this and the factors are going to go on the left side. Well, what's the smallest one? Since it's even, 2 goes into it. Well, uh, divide 12 by 2, and you get 6. And then let's draw another box. You see my ladder developing here. And then what's the smallest prime number that goes in? Well, uh, 2 and 3 both go in, but 2 is the smallest. Be sure to use the smallest, and it will make this method more uh, easier to pick out your pairs. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So here's my last box. Uh, 2 won't go into 3, but of course 3 will. Divide 3 by 3 and you get 1. When you get down to 1, you see that you've completed this, this and um, you can stop your factorization. That means that 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. We've factored 12 into the three prime factors there. Notice that there's a pair of 2s. And I'm going to circle them. Then I'm going to bring just one of those twos outside the radical sign because that's what the uh, square root symbol does. It uh, says what uh, two numbers multiplied together, uh, the square root of them are. So we're going to bring that two out here. And then notice that this three is alone on this left side. So it has to stay under the radical sign. So we'll say, we'll leave it underneath here, and we'll say uh, two. Uh, times the square root of 3, is that equal to um, the square root of 12? Use a calculator and you'll see that it is. Well, let's try another example here. Um, let's, uh, let me go ahead and erase this. And um, we will try a um, second and uh, start off with fresh thing here. And let's try um, something more complicated. Let's try um, something like uh, 540. What's the square root of 540? I'll start doing this. You can check the math later. 540 even. 2 goes into it. Use a calculator if you're not sure what uh, smallest prime goes into it. We get 270. Okay. Um, 2 still goes into this, and we get 135. Now, both 3 and 5 will go into that, and but we want to use the 3 first. And that goes in 45 times. Okay. 3 still goes into 45. Don't be tempted to use that 5. 15 times. Okay. And then 3 goes in again. And just 5 times. 5 is prime. So there's one of those. We're going to circle this pair of 2s and this pair of 3s. And then there's a 3 and a 5. They're still left underneath the radical sign. So let's put them in here and we'll say uh, we bring down one pair of twos to just a single two times three. Everything else is under here. Three times five. That equals two times three out front of the radical is six left under the radical, 3 times 5 is 15, and check and make sure that 6 roots of 15 is the same as the square root of 540, and I think you'll see that it is. Let's do one last example. What if everything factors out and there's nothing left under the radical? Well, if that's the case, then what you found was a perfect square. 
And let me show you a quick example here to end this up. Let's try the square root of 36. Let's say that you didn't recognize that that was a perfect square. So we start out with 36 and 2, 18, and 2, 9, 3, and the 9 is 3, 3, and here we stop. We'll notice that both our 2's out here um, pair up and our 3's pair up. So we bring the 2 down, we bring the 3 down, 2 times 3, and there's nothing left under the radical, so that's just 6. And indeed, the square root of 36 is 6.